Well, hello, folks, and welcome to the final spin. We've been talking about this. We've been doing this. It is the American, and it is time for all that to go down right here inside AT&T Stadium. We're going to be bringing you complete coverage of what happens as we have 18 teams competing for great prize money, awesome prizes, and someone could leave here a millionaire. Well, we started out with the American and the team rope, and the first team out was Charlie Crawford, his partner, Ryan Motes. They came and made a blasting run of 4.12, but they roped a leg, made them nine and one, two. Second out was Eric Rogers and Corey Petska. Eric and Corey got it on him. They were four and 27. It's Nick Sartain and Rich Skelton, some world champion team ropers, and they bust one down 4.35 seconds. Logan Olson and Jordan Olson, what could be a Cinderella story it turns out bad with a broken barrier they're going to be 4.4 but a broken barrier puts them at 14. Caleb Driggers and Patrick Smith are next to go gunslinger on the head side and he hooks it on him they are clean they're going to be 4.47 now it's Riley Miner Brady Miner these guys get him caught in a hurry 3.95 seconds but again a broken barrier puts them at 13.95 now it's Kale Martin and Buddy Hawkins, and these guys come with a heat, 4.69, that puts them in there. And from there, it'll be Clay Tryon and Jade Corkill. These guys come with the heat. Clay hooks it on him. Jade on the backside misses his dally a little bit. They're 4 and 88. The final team is Jake Barnes and Junior Nogueda. And this team right here makes a run. Jake gets it on him. Junior heals him fast. They're 4.40 seconds. And we're going to set the stage and see who the top four are to come back and rope in the shootout round. The first team to go was Caleb Driggers and Patrick Smith. They got out on this steer, they roped the steer great. They caught him in a 4.38 second run. It was outstanding. The next team to go, it was Jake Barnes and Junior Nogueta. Jake gets his horse set in the box right there, makes sure the steer's right. He calls for him and he goes with it. And then Junior goes off on the steer. They're 4.61 seconds on this run, put him in the number two position. Then Nick Sartain and Rich Skelton are next to go. Nick has trouble getting it on and it's gonna be no time for them. The final team to go and the team that could put pressure on everybody, Eric Rogers and Corey Petska. Eric Rogers hangs it on this steer in a hurry, moves him out to the left. Corey takes no time and shut the run down. They are 4.49 seconds and the win goes to Caleb Driggers and Patrick Smith with a run of 4.38 seconds. And I had a moment to catch up with our champions. I'm standing here with Patrick Smith. Patrick, you still got some adrenaline flowing right here. I know uh, you just won the American 100,000 bucks. What's running through your mind? I tell you what, I'm just grateful. Like I said, to God be the glory. What an amazing day uh, to get to come up here and rope against the kind of uh, competition there is. And in this setup, I mean, today for $100,000, I mean, that's amazing. I was telling somebody with this building and this arena and the feel of it, it's a very prestigious win to me. And, means a lot and I want to thank my family and friends, my partner. Thank God first of all and uh, grateful for it. Well, you know what, there's a lot of electricity in this building right here and I know you're world champion, you've been around the world but there's got to be some butterflies in your stomach. Tell me about it after your run and sitting at the back end. Well I tell you what, I'll tell you about it before the run more than anything that's where the butterflies are. I mean it's just waiting to watch the bear back riding and waiting and knowing you're the first team out in the team rope and it's, it just about kills me. I mean I got a, I'm a very impatient person anyway but when you ride in there and see the steer and you're able to get your job done there there is not a better feeling of release and just you know what we did it now it's time to enjoy it so walk me through the run this last run right here you guys were just 438 tell me what happened well, Caleb has done a great job today, first of all. I mean, being first team out, we had a little conversation back there earlier and decided that we knew first paid a whole lot more than second. We're the first team out, and all three of the other teams are very capable of making really good runs. So we can't back off and just go catch the steer. Let's try to make the best run we can. Caleb did a great job. We had the steer that Chad Masters and Clay Cooper had. Uh, the steer was a little bit stronger. He just hung it on him good, turned him good for me. My good horse, Amigo, got me right where I needed to be. We were able to get it done. Like I said, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling. Patrick, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Enjoy all the goodies. I will. Thank you. Well, I'm standing here with uh, Caleb Driggers. You just won the American. Caleb, what are you thinking right now? 
this is one of the best days of my life. I've never won this much money at one time, and it's unbelievable, really. You know, I talked to Patrick a little bit about being nervous before the run. Did you have any nerves? What was your thoughts? Not really. It was weird. I, I mean, I was first team out. I had to let it all hang out. I knew I didn't. I mean, there was no second guessing myself. So like, that was probably an easier situation for me than backing in there on the last one, or being last team out. So it all worked out for us. And then you had to wait for those other three teams to rope. What what happened back there? What conversation was going with you and Patrick? Oh man, he actually after we roped, he went out the front, and I come out the back. So I had it. I didn't see him until we had already won it. But as long as three steers. I've ever had to wait for. So walk me through the run. Tell me what happened right here. Uh, I, I didn't even get to watch Chad run that steer in the semifinal round, and he said he started good, but at that time he felt like he kind of hesitated and he beat me a little bit and stepped a little left, and I just caught him and my horse worked great. I kind of put, mashed him pretty hard and Patrick hammered him. Man, what's it feel like to, to win this Ranger and 100,000 bucks? Like I said earlier, this is the greatest feeling in the world. Uh, this is what you work for all your life. This dream come true. Caleb, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. You bet. Well, folks, we just finished up right here at the American, and what a great event it was. But quite possibly the story of the day, ladies and gentlemen, was in the bareback riding, where Richie Champion, a young man out of the Woodlands, Texas, who's going to school at Tarleton State University in Stephenville, rode a horse for 90 points in the American shootout round. That gave him $100,000 but he was also a qualifier. He earned a check for one million bucks. Ladies and gentlemen, that's awesome. That's what the American is all about. And thank you to RFD TV. You yourself could qualify and be the next million dollar winner. <laughs>